John Benjamin, everybody. John Benjamin. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Bobby Tisdale. You make it easy to hate the South. Um, I recently, I, I had a, a, a baby. I wouldn't, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you for a smattering of applause. It should be a huge, raucous, yeah, baby. Um, but, um, I don't want to get into the whole details of it. But it was it was fun at first. <laughs> um, I mean, not the conception. That was not at all fun. That was a struggle. But the baby was worth it. Um, but I, it, you know, when you have a baby, um, you know, there's a there's a lot of stuff you have to learn, and there's a lot of stuff you, you, you know, there's a lot of people you need to talk to, and. I, I, this might not be completely the appropriate uh, forum for this, but I was able to uh, get in touch with this gentleman who I talked to during the course of my girlfriend's pregnancy. And um, he was willing to come here tonight to talk to everybody, me included. Um, and I wanted to bring him up. He, he's an OBGYN. Um, <laughs> does everyone know what that is? Yes? Okay, cool. Um, he is a, a, you know, he's a doctor and he's an OBGYN and I found him on the internet, you know, during doing research and um, he has an extremely unique procedure uh, that he does, that he performs and I, uh, I found it incredibly interesting and uh, he, you know, he's willing to talk about it and he's a professional and he's, uh, he's a doctor and I, I want to bring him up. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Elliot Klaus. Dr. Elliot Klaus. Hey, doctor. How you doing? Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. I guess you can use either one of these mics. Hello? Check. All right. <laughs> I've given uh, several lectures, so I'm... No, I'm somewhat... sure you have. Do you want to uh, move your... Yeah. Just for the sure, sake sure. of the audience and the exit sign. To, to... Yes. To line yourself up, Doc, uh, thank you, Doctor Klaus. Thank you for coming. I, I know this is not probably the usual way you do lectures. No, this is a bit unorthodox. <laughs> <laughs> Come down uh, uh, to a to a club serving uh, food and alcohol and whatnot, and the the microphones and the kids and everything. But this is fine. I'm trying to reach uh, as many people as I possibly can, and uh, thanks for helping me do that and help you at the same time. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you right back. And I know, and, and I'm, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you do do this kind of stuff, that you will come to w weird venues and weird... Well, it's, it's important to me. I, you know, I'm trying to get the word out there, and uh, certainly, you know, drumming up some business. I, I assume everybody here is of childbearing capability. Um, <laughs> Uh, being a club and all, and uh, <laughs> you may in the future uh, need my services, and I have cards with me. They're in a, uh, over there, by a, right over there on a table, and uh, uh, Patricia is out there. She works in the office, and she'll be uh, able to take any of your information. You brought your assistant with you? Absolutely, everywhere okay. I go. Right, She's a doll. She's wonderful. Oh, excellent. Now, I, I want to like, get right into it so that you don't have to waste time. I, I mean, you... Now you just, I'm sorry to interrupt, you uh, did not use my services, but you had no. a child. I did. You yeah. did. And uh, how was that? <laughs> I mean, it's been good. I mean, he's, he's two, I mean, my child is two years old, so. What, what did you name it? <laughs> um, Judah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I would have, uh, well, wait, boy or girl? It's a boy, Judah. Yeah, I would have advised against that name. That's one of the services I provide as an OBGYN is uh, I help parents name the child. And I, I, I'm very adamant about sticking with a, a just plain Tom, Jane, Mary, Harry, things of that nature. Okay, well, I mean, we... It's, un it's unfair to the child, um, <laughs> first of all. It is. Uh, I mean, I, one, of the, one of the fellows is named Eugene. I mean, that's... 
that's that's, but that's a, not I'm totally. Well, unusual. you're inviting. I mean, it's it's a matter of vanity for you. I understand. That's how it is with, <laughs> the, with the parents. It's a matter of vanity. You're, well, I mean, I, I mean, you're, you're treating the child as an accessory, and you think <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's very true, ladies and gentlemen. I've. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not actually the case in my well, case. Well, I mean, what is? Uh, let's see. What will Judah's name be shortened to on the playground. Let me try to think of what a child might shorten the name Judah to. Right, hmm. no. I wonder what that could be. A lifetime of Jew. <laughs> I would have advised against it. Okay. I would have said Thomas. <laughs> well, okay. That's neither here nor there. No, we didn't that's... come to discuss that. That's a side service that I offer. Yeah, because I, I do want to talk about the the procedure which you do which is extremely unique and I, w I want you to get a chance to talk about that as opposed to make fun of my baby's name no I'm not I'm not making fun I'm saying what uh, what will he what you've exposed him to a lifetime to I'm not making fun of him I if he was up here I would never say that to his face <laughs> right well, he, would, he would probably not understand what you were saying because he's only two and he wouldn't understand that but they know they know they know <laughs> Uh, the procedure which you're referring to is something that uh, is uh, somewhat controversial, uh, but, you know, we live in a very uh, tenuous time, uh, morally, and uh, what I'm doing is trying to progress things, and I, uh, uh, as you may uh, have figured, I also will perform abortions, if necessary, if the uh, parents so choose, if the woman chooses, I believe in a woman's right to choose, you know, most things. Uh, certainly, <laughs> when it comes to an abortion, she should so be able to choose that. Wait, so I'm sorry, you don't believe, I mean, do you think other, in other areas that the woman does not have a right to choose certain things? Oh, absolutely. I'm on my second wife. Um, so, uh, the point I'm making, though, is I, the procedure I do is I will uh, perform a late-term Abortion, right. like a lot of doctors won't. And this is what I originally I read this on your site and and talked to you when I called your office about this. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will uh, perform an abortion up to three weeks after the baby is born. <laughs> okay, um, this is what I think. Uh, this is part of why this is obviously a very unique <laughs> procedure. It is. And not I, many I'm, people, I, mean, I, I know you probably get this a lot, but you know, now that you're here, we might as well talk about it. Not many people probably would believe that's a valid thing. Well, that's part of what, we're, what I'm facing and what we as a nation are facing with this Christian right coming down on us and trying to define you know, uh, when does life begin, when does it end, all those kind of things, and, and taking the choice away from a woman. You know, but I mean, there is a limit to the choice, isn't it? Like because <laughs> that's the exact kind of thinking I'm up against. Yes, there no. are <laughs> limits. You can take your Bible or your Torah or whatever it is, and you can uh, Torah. You can take passages yeah, from it, and you can. But I happen to believe in science and progression, and it's it's the, that kind of thinking that is going to keep us back. But you understand why people think this is like sort of a controversial procedure because you. Yeah, they're ignorant. But it, wouldn't you, I mean, because you're killing, uh, I guess you're killing babies after they're born. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's understand this. First of all, let's explain the procedure. The baby, okay, based, this is always, please understand this, this is based on the woman's health. If a woman is going to suffer, her health is going to suffer because of this procedure, well, I will not do it. I will not do it. How does the woman's You get health... half of your money back, you go home, everyone's what? happy. How does the woman's health affect... I mean, I'm saying she's already had the baby. How is the woman's health apart... I mean... Well, because the procedure is, is very uh, intricate, and we must reinsert the child. I'm not... You, you don't think for one second I'm... I'm, pers I, I'm I, I performing don't know an abortion on a, a, a child that is outside of the womb. That's barbaric. That's disgusting. That's not what I... Well, I assume that... You disgust that. me. You <laughs> Sir, disgust me. I and I would never, ever do I such don't... a thing. The child, if the woman is capable, we perform an epidural, okay? The child is reinserted. We then abort it. But don't you think it's it a is, little bit... It don't, is a no, woman's... I'm sorry, don't, don't you think it's a tiny bit... I mean, isn't it... Like, when does... Okay, according to law, like constitutional, the law of this of this okay, land, of this country. Okay, constitutional law. Okay. What's so funny about that? What? It's just, I, I, okay, I know what's coming. <laughs> okay. 